I gotta say I'm pretty jealous of where you get to work every day. Just look at the view, it's a beach, it's like paradise. But um, can you tell me a little bit about the, the research that you've done and is continuing to do right now? What I've done is a fish research. So basically I looked at dino fish species diversity and abundance in the correlation with coral abundance. Okay. So the thing we were looking for is like the proportion of these two things. So I understand that we are now located at the North Bay of this I island. Mm -hmm. And I understand it's one of the places where you kind of perform your research methods. Um, could you expand more on whereabouts do you do your actual research? Is it around here, the other areas where you have to go to explore? Well, basically, if you look at the map of God's side, it's like four different sites that we can work on, North, East, South, and West. So each of the area, what we've been looking for is the differences like and how they're different well the north and the south bay are the most place that we have these anthropogenic activities going on and then the east and the west are basically left untouched we are not only looking for like what species are there but also what species are not there because i have to say that the thing that makes ecosystem well can function is the species dynamic. Kind of live together in harmony and for the ecosystem to harmony, function. Harmony, yeah. Mm -hmm. right, that makes a lot of sense. For the fish here, I look for the different functional groups. So basically what they eat. Uh, because each of them has like different roles to the ecosystem. Approximately how many species have you found here? In... Uh, there are 39 species. 39 in total? Here, well, which is not that much. Those but... are a lot of sketches you've had to do, so yeah. very impressive. <laughs> I don't know, for some of my own reasons, I don't really like taking photos. I'm, a, I'm not a good photographer. You're an artist, <laughs> that's what it is. So I prefer <laughs> drawing because that way I can also like write down details and stuff underwater and then when I go up, I can look for them like after and then compare and stuff. And once we got the species, then I divided them into like functional groups. So the first functional group, all those eat meat. And then the, and we have the carnivorous invertebrate, which those eating like invertebrates and small little things like plankton and stuff. And then the omnivorous invertebrates, which is those eat pretty much everything, just simply can live with everything. <laughs> and then we have herbivores, the plant eater, basically algae. And then the corollivores, which is those eating corals. So each of them serves different roles and they are all important to the ecosystem. So you can see like in the area with lots of well, activities going on, that is less corals. Obviously, that's the very first thing. So with less coral, you kind of see less of the special, specialized fish, like the corollivores, those eating corals, because there that are less corals, so that are also they cannot, like they cannot less exist, coral eating yeah. fish. So they cannot live there. So what instead, like living there, are those omnivores invertebrates, which are those eating everything. So if you have them as a majority of the population, it will replace the specialized fish, which is more complex organism. So it kind of make everything like simpler and simpler and simpler in the future. Some people think that simple is good, but actually in terms of marine life and marine like uh, ecology, and like um, health, simple is not good. It's not only marine, I would say every ecosystem can exist because species living together, they kind of like support one another and support ecosystem and make it functions. Mm. So without or with too many of them, of a certain species, it could, it could cause a problem.
hoping for a change in attitudes for tourists and people of Earth in general with this research that you're doing? Well, you don't have to wait before doing something or to stop doing something. It is in your own hand how to save the environment, how to save the world. When you go snorkeling or when you go diving, for me, it's all about respect. So I always think that I need to respect. It's not my home, it's their home. So you have no right to destroy someone else's home. So that's always what I keep in mind. The number one rule. Mm -hmm. It is my number one rule.